lock him into that, do you? Is yeah. that, that's that your, what's picking that's it up? That's your live, All live right. mic. Rob McCachron in the house. Just came, uh, just got through with Pro 2, taking the win, checkered flag. What a race, man. Let's talk about it. You know, it was awesome. Uh, right from when Rockstar, we, we unloaded the Rockstar Energy uh, BF Goodrich Masscraft truck off the semi. We were quick. We were quick in practice. We qualified first, and uh, everything was just going absolutely awesome with the truck. You know, I can't thank those BF Goodrich tires enough. I knew uh, once we were out there and running around, we were just slowly getting away from everybody and kept thanking God I got BF Goodrich tires on my truck. You made them last, too, and into that uh, cautionary uh, second stage of the race. You came out, and, man, you were hooking up. You actually pulled away from them on the first lap after the caution, and you were already checking out. Yeah. You know, uh, at the beginning of the race, uh, we, they inverted two rows, so we started in the second row, and, and the guys on the inside, got, a couple guys, I think Rob Naughton got by me, so I was running like fourth or fifth, and just trying to take our time, and when the track started coming to us, the truck just got quick, and we just started going by people, and <laughs> excuse me, before the, um, before the halfway point, you know, Todd LaDuke was leading that race, and he actually was leading right from the beginning. And, uh, you know, I wanted to race them clean. We're both Rockstar trucks, and I knew the Rockstar guys were up in the grandstands watching us going, we want a one, too. So uh, once we got by him, though, we, we just slowly started checking out. And I knew, uh, you know, uh, up until the halfway point, you know, once things spread out a little bit, everybody kind of checks it down a little bit and waits for that restart, and then they go for it. So when they threw that the restart flag, and I knew Todd was going to try and, and get underneath us, we just kept a tight line in the first three or four corners. We gapped him a little bit and then just started slowly checking out. Well, after that fact, you, 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 of course, you, didn't, you weren't looking back after that, but we were watching the second and third place battle go on with Rodrigo and Todd. And, man, it was a photo finish, and Rodrigo came out of nowhere in the air and got him just at the finish line to take over that second spot. But, hey, Rockstar's first and third on the podium, man. Yeah, Rockstar first and third, and uh, BF Goodrich first and second. So uh, Todd's on a different tire, so we won't uh, talk about no, that. <laughs> no, no. So uh, it, it all worked out good. You know, we're increasing our uh, points lead with the Rockstar Energy BF Goodrich Mascraft Safety Truck. Um, you know, I was, Ricky was second in points. Ricky Johnson, he was second in points coming in, and uh, late in the race, I saw him on the side of the road. So uh, we we gained some points on him. Um, although Rodrigo, uh, he was he's close up in points too. So we didn't we didn't put too many on him, but. Uh, you know, we're going to win the championship. Last year we won the championship in the Torque Series, and uh, we, wanted, we got the number one plate this year over there, and we want the number one plate in 2011 from the Lucas Series. So we just wow. keep, keep chipping away at it. Well, that's how you do it. And uh, being a desert racer, uh, let's talk about what you got planned for that coming up. What's your next race? Are you doing the 500? Oh, yeah. The next, the next race we're doing is the Ball 500. We'll be racing the, uh, the Mastercraft Rockstar BF Goodish tr truck um, to Jimco number 20 down there. We drew second off the line. Um, we'll go d down pre-running uh, the end of the week, like Wednesday, Thursday. I'll go down, start pre-running all the way up to the 500, and uh, see if we can't get a big win there for BF Goodrich Rockstar and uh, Mastercraft Safety on top of it. Uh, that's awesome. We have one question in the chat asking, how was your experience in the 2010 Baja 250 in San Felipe, eighth place finish? Yeah, you know, um, the the right away, San Felipe, um, the the whoops up Zoo Road are getting just bigger and bigger every year, and and, uh, you know, we, we started off at a pretty conservative pace and uh, went about 50 miles into it. And the shock reservoir um, ended up breaking off the shock. And uh, we uh, had to limp it all the way the rest of the way. And we just, you know, brought it home for some points. I think we're fourth in the score points right now. Um, kind of a pretty big disappointment. You know, um, every race that we do, we want to win. Um, everybody at Jimco uh, that preps the truck did a great job prepping. Rockstar, BF Goodrich, and Mashcraft. Robbie Pierce is uh, the owner of that truck that I'm driving. He's also, I'm in the number 20, he's in the number 30. And, and uh, we, we, we want to keep winning races or, you know, get up there and win a trophy truck race. We're going to work as hard as we can for the 500 and uh, try to keep gaining points. Sweet. Well, on behalf of Superlight Live and everybody here at Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing, we're glad to see you out here in this short course stuff. You, you're mixing it up out here, man, and, and showing the guys your talent. And uh, we wish you all the luck in the world, Rob, and we're, uh, we're going to wish you uh, to keep it going on. Rodrigo coming in. All right. Rod <laughs> Rodrigo's like, I'm next, and he sat on Mac. Oh, man. Be careful. These guys, these guys have, uh, uh, believe me, they, they're friends off the track, but, man, when they're on the track and they got their helmets on, it's game on, right? Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, um, the off-road community, we're all, you know, great friends. You know, we have a lot of fun. We rib each other, have a good time, and uh, we get out there on the track, and then, you know, the gloves come off and start going after it. But, you know, once the race is over, typically everybody's good buddies again and uh, talking about the ghost stories. We love doing this stuff. We love Lucas Off-Road for doing everything that they do, putting on great events. And, uh, you know, it's, it's my passion. It's what I want to do for many years to come, and they're giving us the opportunity to do it.
Last chance, sponsor shout out. Rockstar Energy, BF Goodrich Tires took us to the wind today, and Mastercraft Safety, and all the guys on the team that work so hard, you know, the tranny builders, the motor builders, all the guys that are the unsung heroes, all the yeah. people that are behind the work, really, you know, it's, it's obviously without, without sponsors, it's hard to make this happen, but without the guys that come and take the time off work, and the volunteers, and take time away with their wife or kids, without them, none of this would be possible either, so we want to always, for all the teams, not just mine, but, uh, you know, we got to thank all of our volunteers out there. Well, that's what we're trying to do is bring all that more open for you guys. You can see your crew chiefs, see your mechanics working on the trucks. That's what live streaming has came into off-road racing, which I've been plugging for a long time, trying to get it to this point right here where you guys are actually live on the Internet worldwide, gaining fans that don't even know you guys, and now they're like, oh, I'm going to be watching him, and I'm going to be w looking out for him in the next race, and I'm going to actually follow these guys now and find yeah. out what's going on with off-road you know, racing. And, you know, there, there, there's nothing better than actually watching this stuff live. You know, a television doesn't do justice so much of anything, and our sport is one of the big, I think, losers of that. You can't see how fast we're going. You can't hear the rumble of these engines. Um, and it's smell just, the fuel. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, smell of fuel. And when you're up here watching us fly by the grandstands, we're 10, 15 feet in the air oh, flying 100 feet. You know, we're actually flying higher than the grandstands yeah. are. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you're in practice stuff, you look over to the right, look out the side window, and, uh, you know, enjoy it. All right, Rob Mack, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him. We'll, we'll have him back here tomorrow. Hopefully be up on that podium. Good luck to you, Rob.